hi friends welcome back to learning points youtube channel in this video i am going to show you another important topic obviously it is interesting also i am going to discuss about the tax scheduling so i will discuss about the tax scheduling and along with this i will going to show you how to set up cron job so basically uh, in mind there have a questions so why you have to use the cron and what is the need of cron job and what is the benefit to use of cron jobs and many questions so if you have this question then i can explain is why many times we need to send notification or send email notification or you can say suppose you are creating a application there is some products suppose they are have a subscription based and after the subscription over if you want to send a notification then you can send by this cloning system or you can say the taxi ruling system there may have a lots of user there are millions of user but you cannot memorize which date which user got expired or how to send a notification so this is the way by using these things we can send notification to that user we can send via email or sms we can if you want to update some data we can update inside our data so all things we can access from here so let's see how we can implement these things into our laravel application so i will recommend you please see the full video and please comment if you have any queries about this video and please subscribe this channel right so let's create a new laravel project so i will going to show you everything from very beginning so i will create a project first and after that we'll create all these things so just go to the terminal so just write composer create project so sorry create project laravel slash laravel and suppose my project name is suppose cron scheduling okay so anything there is a simple project name so it's creating project it will take very less time right so just installing so just creating a project so when the project is installing let's see so few points so for tax scheduling we have to create a comment so schedule artisan comments and then we need to schedule the jobs and schedule the sale comments and schedule frequent options so there may have any options so i will explain you each and every things so this is our kernel and we can set comments here we can schedule tax directly and this is the uh, recurring time or you can say the interval time so we, by this we can define when i want to send the notification and for this we have many options so if you just go little bottom so here you can see there is a cron option so this is the uh, date and time so you can say the date or you can say hour minute second you can specify or there is some preview function so if you want to send a notification every minute then you can use these things for every two minutes you can use these functions or simply in hourly if you want to send a notification hourly you can use this or daily for this and you can set specific time that is 13 colon 00 that is a 24 format timing basically this is the 1 pm so if you want to set this so every 1 pm it will send the notification right so there is many options so we'll know these things step by step i think the project is installed yes it's installed so simple just go to the uh, project directory so cron scheduling so simply just write cd cron scheduling just enter into the project and i am just going to open another tab so to run this php artisan sub okay so it's basically running so if we just go here we can see the application is running so this is the new tab and this is the tab where i will develop all the things so next things i want to create a comments so how we can create comments so first of all just 
create a comment to create a comment we to use php artisan and to make comment we to use the make comment and suppose my comment so anything that is uh, i want to say it a demo chrome right so simply just write it demo chrome okay so this is the demo chrome and just enter this so console comment created successfully so now if you just go to the project directory so let's open the project first into the visual studio code simply if you just type here code space dot it will open the visual studio code so you can see it's opening and if we just go inside the app console section so where is the console inside the console there is a comment and this is the demo cron so just now i created this comment okay so there is the namespace app console comments and it's extending the parent comment right so here we need to send the signature so basically by this signature we can call or we can schedule our chrome and here a simple description section so this is actually optional if you want to write some description here we can write this here so basically if we just write here this is the comment description section same like if we just go here and simply write php artisan list so here we can see all the list of comments basically this is the comment and this is the description so for this this is the default laravel provides and if you want to create custom comment you can create by this comment just like here i am creating okay so simply if i just write here comment name so for now if i want to say the signature suppose this is demo and i am writing the name as cron right and the description it's optional still i am writing this is demo cron right let's save this and if you just check again and let's php artisan list again and just go to the d section yes here you can see the demo cron it's created the comment and this is the demo cron okay so comment is created and now we need to create the logic when it will work and how it is work okay the main function of these things this is the handle right so it's simply returning the comment success right so here i need to create a comment or i need to write anything so if you want to use any database modification simply write here the database modification code and you can use just like controller you can use the database here so here i want to store some info into the log so simply i just write here log and i want to set some data so, so here i want to set the cron will work every minute so when every minute it will run that time some record will store into the log so that's the reason i am writing here cron is working fine okay dot dot okay so here i am using for demo purpose that's the reason i am showing simply this text if you want to do any other things or if you want to create any functionality you can write simply write inside this handle function it will call right now the thing is we need to register this comment so we need to define comments on the kernel.php file okay so if you just go to the kernel.php so just go to the app console and kernel.php so here we need to write the comment okay so just go here and you can see there is the comments so all the comments array here and there is a scheduler functions so this is demo purpose it's basically working hourly and this is accepting the comments so for me my comments is the demo cron right so in the kernel section just inside the comment section i am just putting my comments so simply just remove this 
and let's call the comments and simply write the demo cron right demo cron so basically this is the class name so just if you check you can see this is the demo cron okay so simply these things so demo cron is added now we have to schedule this thing so how you can schedule this so all the code is written over there so simply just copy this demo cron and let's paste here right and for and for this tutorial i am just going to save this as uh, uh, every minute so just go here and let's use this function that is the every minute so copy this and just write every minute here so here one thing why this is the error so basically the c will be in caps and there will be no space between this okay so comments demo cron basically this is the path this is inside the comments demo cron right so i mistakenly using the space here okay so comment is added and the schedule functions is added i am setting this in every minute okay and the next functions is comment so it is loading the comments so full folder this folder is loaded and it's required the base path routes console.php so all are set now the next things we need to run the scheduler command so how can you run this now let's run this command manually so if you want to use this in server you can configure into your server cron section and for now i am setting this manually so i am just running this manually so to run this we can use the command php artisan command or schedule s c h e d u v l e schedule and then run basically it will run the scheduler so you can see the running schedule command and artisan demo cron okay so now if you just go inside the visual studio code again and just go to the storage section inside the storage we are getting the logs and here we can get the laravel dot log and you can see the cron is working fine so if we just change the text this is sorry the chrome is demo fine and i am just adding this line here success okay and let's run this again and just check again okay so we are getting this message that means our cron is working perfectly so at least you can manage this comment on seedling tux so you have to add a single entry to your server's cron tab file okay so currently we have no server so if you got server you can see there is an option for cron so just go down and there you need to set the path of your project and the comment okay so just simply inside your server just use these things so inside the path of your project and run this comment and it will automatically run so it will manage from the server okay so i think you will understand the full process how you can create a scheduler and how to schedule these things so hope you like this video please comment if you have any queries about this video thanks for watching this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye